Hi, I'm Bjorn. And I'm Benny. And we're here back in London to announce that we have made a new album with ABBA. We have also made a concert. We're working on it. And that will take place just behind us here in the newly built arena for that purpose. So we're here to tell you all about it. Stick with us and uh, you'll know everything. to do, I don't know, a few others. What do you say, girls? And they say, yeah. Then I asked them, well, why don't we just do a whole album? The first song, I Still Have Faith in You, I knew when, when Benny played the melody, I, I just knew it had to be about us. It's about realizing that it's inconceivable to be where we are. No imagination could dream up that, to release a new album after 40 years and still be the best of friends and still be enjoying each other's company and have a total loyalty. Who has experienced that? Nobody. London three years ago. I said to Bjorn, do you think it's very clever if we try to tour this thing? Because it's technically immensely complicated. It's the screens, the sound, all the lights. So I say, why don't we do it here? Well, there's no arena, we said. And I said, well, we can build one. London is the town. The challenge has always been merging the digital with the physical make digital ABBA come into the physical world and for the boundaries between those two worlds to disappear. Our director, Bailey Walsh, had to crack that code and as simple as it sounds, but he did it with light. Light is the connector. Light and audio and this environment is going to be a unique space to be in. It is a big break, but we knew something was cooking in the ABBA camp. Here they go again. Something, they do something with the clip. Oh my god, ABBA, what's happening? Hello, Gordon! How are you? This 
so exciting. so exciting. Yeah. Hello. Do I greet you from an elbow bump? We're doing a bojo bump. Have oh, seats, we've been have waiting seats. so long for this. I know you have. Thank you. Do you yeah. know the thing is, right, this is like one of the biggest events in music. This is one of the biggest reunions ever. Possibly in music, these two so laid back. Look at you, just hanging out downstairs, cool as anything. Well, it's it's such fun, you know. It's, well, it is yeah. fun, and and we've been longing for this for such a long time. Oh know. well, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so much speculation. Can I just say this is so huge that here in the UK, BBC Five Live held off their six o'clock bulletin to play your new single. That doesn't happen. That doesn't oh, happen. Wow. Today? Uh, yeah, today. Oh, That's just, I know. Oh, Come on. Live. We love them. Um, let's talk about some stats before mm. we talk, because the numbers are huge. ABBA, 400 million albums sold worldwide. 17 number one hits. ABBA Gold recently hit a thousand million on the UK chart. Uh, a thousand weeks, sorry, on the UK chart. Um, your songs are streamed over 16 million times a month. I mean, this is bonkers. Over a billion video views on TikTok. How are you, how are you doing with TikTok, Benny? Are well, I, just start, TikTok? I started three days ago. Yeah? I kind of like it. Yeah, you know? good. I, yeah. I play a little snippet of Dancing Queen, and I have three million viewers. Like that. Uh, of course. You, can you imagine how many that's going to be now, after <laughs> tonight? It's, it's incredible. Fun. So one of the biggest pop acts in the world. Today, so anticipated. Biggest reunion in music. There are so many questions. There's been a lot of speculation. Let's start with why now? What happened that brought you together when you thought, this is the time, let's do this? Well, it was suggested to us that we could go on tour as holograms. Yeah. And this is now four or five years ago, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, four and a half. And, um, and uh, we found out very soon that that wasn't even possible no. because holograms is a, an old technology. And, and, uh, but, I mean, the vision was there of having on digital selves. Yeah. That, that, that even was a possibility. Yeah. And also, we didn't, we didn't want to do it before we were dead. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bless you. And, and Bless ILM you. said it's, it's, it's good if you do yeah. it before you're dead. Yes. Because it gets so more easy. accurate then. Yes. Uh, not so easy afterwards. No. But I mean, we saw in the footage there, and I have to say, I don't know about everybody else, I got really emotional seeing the four of you in the room together. That is, that is huge. But there, with all that high tech kit, uh, you know, so you look like you're about to be launched into space. What can you tell us about these? avatars that you have created i'd say the the worst of it all was when i mean there were like a hundred guys moving from london with all the equipment to do this uh, these recordings of all of us singing all those songs that was in this uh, apk thing yeah and i'd say the only r big problem was that we had to shave our beards <gasps> No! How do, are there photos? I've had my beard for 50 years. 50 yeah. years! In order for them to get all everything right. Unfortunately. Uh, they, <laughs> they they, they, you know, there are pictures. There are pictures. Oh, yeah. Are there shaving <laughs> somewhere? Someone will pay a lot of money for that kind of stuff <laughs> on the internet these but days. But what we did was a, a motion capture in, in Stockholm, in that studio, which looks like the NASA headquarters. And we were on stage and we got there uh, like, like 10 or 12 um, each day yeah. uh, for five weeks, and we dressed up in uh, leotards with dots or little things on them, and we had dots in our faces and helmets with cameras, and there we were, the four of us on stage yeah. together doing these yeah. songs. And I can say one thing, Frida and Anekna didn't have to shave. <laughs> uh, I'm glad to hear that. And, yes, and, and, uh, that's good news. <laughs> I mean, they, they should have been here. It should have been here, yeah. but they don't enjoy this as much as Bjorn does. Oh <laughs> yes. Yeah. It, it, will well. they be watching now? Will the ladies be watching? Oh, they are this? watching now. We'll bet. <gasps> Good evening to yes. the ladies, to Nieta yeah. and Frida. Yeah. Why I am I waving? I'm Alpro. waving to the ladies from Apple. I'm sorry and, about that. <laughs> That's yes, yes, I, I enjoy media. I think they're part of the music industry. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, well, they're with us in, in spirit right now. But the funny thing yeah. was, uh, you know, we got so used to going there each each day that it got like a like going to work yeah. you know i'd meet agneta and i say good morning agneta how was your weekend you know <laughs> like you do you go to work each day 
It's, even though we looked ridiculous in our costumes. In your leotards. Yeah. I know. I was going to say the girls would look great in the leotards. You two, I'm still imagining that. Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. Right. Yeah. But this is revolutionary technology. I mean, we're hearing there's like, you know, hundreds and thousands of people have worked on this. And for ABBA fans around the world, you know, me included, who were unable to see you in your heyday, we will be able to come and see you in this incredible concert. Yes. I mean, this is, this is so exciting for everybody. Because we have really infused, you know, ourselves yeah. into these avatars in, in so many ways. We can just hope that you enjoy it when you go there. I think yeah, we're going to yeah. enjoy it just a little bit. Let's, let's talk about the location. We're, we're here. Yeah. We, if we look out, yeah. just regarde moi, uh, over here, that is actually, you're having your own concert venue yeah. built right now. Yeah. We can see it here. Um, have you been down and had a look? What sort of stage is it? How, how amazing is uh, it looking? No, I haven't yet, but yeah. I might do that tomorrow. I think you might go to, get your hard hat on yes. uh, if you're, and, go, and go and have a look. Um, so it really does feel like a leap forward rather than, you know, sort of stepping back in time. Um, there's the location. Why, why London? Why not anywhere else? Why did you choose well, here? Lon because London is the best city to be in. Yes, you know? but, well, well, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. When it oh, comes, there's the press. They're woken well, up. The locals. But when right. it comes, when it comes to entertainment, yes, you know, theatre, yeah. musicals, concerts, it's all here. It's, it's been here for years and years and years, yeah. and there is a big audience from all over the world travelling here for that reason. So, uh, and also, the what's a no-brainer, really? Yeah, absolutely. And talent, okay. technology, infrastructure, all of that is here in London as well, and and, and somehow. We've always felt that the Brits see us as their own. We do. That's we weird. do. That's it's really it feels like that yeah. when we come here every time. Well, this is wonderful. So it's going to be over there. We'll be able to go and see it. Let's talk a bit about the, the set list. Tell us what you can. Is this going to be an album concert? Is it going to be a greatest hits concert? What yeah, sort of a greatest hits, I'd say. Yeah. We try to, to play a couple of songs that has not been great hits but still songs that we like you know so it's going to be i mean dancing queen is going to be in obviously I hope. yes it, well yes it will be yeah. it's 22 songs 22 it's an hour and a half long okay approximately uh, and uh, also those two new songs that we released today drop uh, today you can get those now yeah, they're out uh, they're wonderful we'll be in there because the other songs we hadn't recorded when we did this this uh, motion uh, thing we only had two songs. Okay. And then we said maybe we should do a couple more. Yeah. Because it because it was so joyful to be together in the studio again. The four of us. Yes. Yeah. Hearing Frida and Agneta sort of go for it again, not knowing really if they were still there. You see what I mean? I yeah. mean uh, five minutes before they came into the studio, <laughs> I was thinking I should have asked if they can still sing. <laughs> <laughs> but they could and they can and they have done yeah. so and uh, you'll hear when, when you when you listen to the records uh, yeah. You'll hear that. Yeah, well, we could they're, hear they're, they're such yeah. genuine musicians and yeah. creative souls that uh, it, it is you know a privilege to hear You know them sing your music and words. It's uh, I mean it's still yeah, yeah. The album is in the can now. It's done. It's, it's done. You know, and I know they they have it, and they really, they they I think they're happy with the work. Fantastic. They are. How was that experience for you? You know, you guys go way back. You've been through an awful lot to get together and be in the same space like that, and then to hear those voices and the music kicking in like that. It must have been pretty emotional. It was wonderful. Yeah, yeah. I just said. Very much. Yeah. yeah, it was. Say it again. It, it, it Shout it, it, out, Benny. It, 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 yeah, it, it was. It. Yeah. <laughs> and it was uh, memories rushing back, or should I say the uh, kind of relationships, the bonds that we have, you know, were so uh, clear and so it was great. And uh, it all came rushing back in a matter of seconds, I think. Yeah. That's a funny thing, you know. It's been 40 years between, or 39, when we recorded 38. Yeah. Uh, and it was like no time had passed. Quite amazing. Yeah. Everyone in the studio, everyone into their roles uh, that we have in the studio, and just started. And it was, yeah, no time. Would, was anybody mm. naughty? Was everybody well behaved? Um, yeah, everybody. You know, was there lots of messing yeah, around? Were you very, very professional? Very well behaved. 
Yeah. Old, sensible people. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that is wonderful. Because, of course, you'd, you'd met up with each other over the years. You'd had dinner and stuff like that. Yeah. But, you know, I guess that was a bit of a risk to see if it would happen again. And we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for making this happen yeah. because it is so, so wonderful. The album... And, and we did, uh, you know, went into the studio knowing that if we didn't think it was up to scratch, we would never release it. Yeah, no one So we're... Yeah proud of it and yes yeah you so so you should be so the and also for, there's yeah. a, there's an old saying in the music industry you should not leave more than 40 years between albums <laughs> 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 yeah. Famous proverb. Yeah. It's very true. Please don't make us wait another 40 years for the next one. Um, well. So, the big date. Remember, remember the 5th of November. That is when the album, album is yes. out. Yeah. What can, oh, it's not long to wait. It's very exciting. Uh, what can you tell us about some of the songs and the themes that are running here? What were the you know, emotions that are right, the stories that I, are running in the songs? I don't, I don't know. What can you say about a song? I mean, you have to hear it. Yeah. But it is a little mixture of everything, like it has been on our records, I think, throughout the years. Yeah, yeah. There's the odd song here, and there's a, we have a little Christmas tune. Um, oh, hello. Exclusive. Uh, yeah. Quick file that. That's <laughs> this. Yeah, Will that come out little this Christmas? Yeah. This Christmas? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that the yeah. best but, present uh, ever? Yeah, and there's, there's I mean, there's, there, there are a number of pop songs. As well. But there are, the, yeah. I but think it's pretty good. I have to say that, <laughs> yeah, we've, we've done as good as we could yeah. at our age. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, at our age, there's a certain depth to it, I think, yeah. to the whole thing, musically and lyrically, and, of course, the way they sing and the way they deliver. Um, it's all, there is all, you know, a, a lot of experience and a lot of years in that that I hope people can feel. Fantastic. And what about the people you've worked with on the album, um, you know, the producers? Uh, tell us a bit about the team who've helped you put it all together. With the album? Yeah. It's only us. It's just you? Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. And the sound engineer, Bernard. But we've got to give Bernard a shout. Yes, got to give yes, him Bernard. A shout. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, the unseen hero. Yeah. Fantastic. Brilliant. Is there fly on the wall footage? Will we be able to see more of you? I don't, I don't know. There, there was some filming going on. Just They're for, always filming. just for us. Okay. You know, so yeah. nothing. Not, well, not nothing for you, I think. No. Oh, we can uh, I will see. I don't know. We might. We have, we have to watch it ourselves first. Yeah. We're eating lunch once a day. <laughs> that's film. Do you want to see that? Yeah. Do you know what people yeah. will watch you for eating lunch? That is that's huge yeah, for us. Cool. I had a Caesar yeah. salad. Oh yes, yeah. 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 That is filmed. Club <laughs> burgers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, burgers. I love that we're actually talking about the dietary requirements. This is amazing. Uh, downstairs, we're watching some of the link ups to Stockholm. People watching all over the world. Fans who've gathered in New York City, in Rio. How was that? to see your fans of all ages as well. They were all discussing how they'd discovered you, um, you know, whether they're watching you back in the 70s, whether they'd found you through the movie, you know, Mamma Mia, yeah. or their parents, or hearing you on the radio. How does it feel to just see those fans so excited today? Yeah. It's, it's somewhat co incomprehensible. Yes. Wouldn't you say? I mean, like, I mean, it's been 40 years and we haven't done anything together for 40 years, but still, it seems that we're, that we're still around, you know? Yeah. Music is played everywhere. Mm -hmm. I can see that on, on the, uh, the, my STEM report, which is the... Uh, <laughs> uh, you want to know the figures? <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, so, so, I mean, yeah, I realise that, and I, I never actually understood it. I'm very happy and grateful for it, obviously. Yeah. But I don't know why. It's, it's good stuff. Yeah. You know, we, <laughs> we worked is. hard, but so did a lot of other acts. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. And intellectually, you, you see the stats, you understand the figures and the numbers. But emotionally, it's very hard to, to, to grasp. Yeah. It is, I would say, impossible. And um, my wife says it's a good thing that it's impossible to grasp emotionally because otherwise I'll be absolutely intolerable to this. <laughs> yes. Exactly. It's, when you're looking back, we're seeing this incredible footage of you, you know, out on tour and, you know, making those albums. 
when you were that age and you were on that adventure, could you possibly have comprehended, you know, how huge those records you were making would be? And the fact that we would, they would still be played, you know, no, every day on the radio, no every wedding. It doesn't you know. work like that. It's yeah. like, I mean, it's having a job. My work is to write music, go to the studio, try to record it as, as good as we can. You have a song, you do all that, you record it, and then that's, you move it aside, and then you go to the next one. Mm -hmm. You go to work and you try to do uh, it as, as perfectly as it is possible. That's how it is. Yeah. Nothing else. And then what happens afterwards is, that's impossible to say. We didn't know that about the Arrival album or Super Trooper album. No, no idea. We, we knew that we were sort of hot stuff. But that doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't mean that, that the audience will like the next record. No. And about this one, I mean, I have no idea. We yeah. should see. Does it make We, we you... should see after this conversation, because yeah. now you get to know immediately, don't you? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I mean, do yeah. how do you feel about everybody here in the album? They've, they, we've heard one single. You're all very good. There might be a surprise later. I'll say no more. But you know, how do you feel about the fans hearing this album? You've said you know you're feeling really proud of it, so you must be excited. It's quite it's quite a wait for us all to hear it in November. Yeah. You know how how will that be for but, you? But we we never uh, looked at what the charts look like today. We never speculated in that. We decided from the word go, just to write the best songs we could and record them as best we could. And so, as Penny said, we just don't know. Just don't know. I mean, we're not competing with Drake and all these other guys. <laughs> <laughs> not. I mean, we can't do that because I don't understand what's up there. I don't understand what the, what the, what the ingredients in the songs that works today are. Yeah. So that it's, it's impossible to, to, to emulate. I can see I know, the well, little I, I, Sims I no, Drake collab coming no, any no, minute no, I, now. I don't mind Drake. I just say I don't know what they're doing. Yeah. You know the the modern the pop critical. artists. Well, it, it, talking of that, you know, let you know, you think back to recording, you know, back in the day, and now recording in the studio. Obviously, technology has come on such you know, mm. leaps and bounds. Yeah. But I do know some musicians like to work with the old kit. Did you sort of modernise, if you sort of down, you know, with all the um, the latest technology and stuff when you're recording yeah, yourself? Yeah, we use technology, yeah. of course, because it's at, it's at hand now. So it's, it's, not, it's not really a question of finishing a song, it's a question of abandoning it because you can work forever. Mm. Yeah. Because it's so easy to tweak a little here, change the hi-hat there, yeah. you know, taking away a voice there. So, but uh, you have to give up. Waterloo was recorded, I think, on eight track. Yeah. yeah. And, and that means you have to decide what to keep and what not to keep and how to mix it and, and you know. Yeah. It's so different from today. But pop music has always been tech driven. So Benny had all the latest stuff. The, oh, same, yeah. the first yeah, one, yeah, yeah. Mini, mini mode, yeah, yeah. for instance. Have you still got it? Oh, yes, I do. Fantastic. It's white. Oh, from the tours. Beautiful. It was painted by. Oh, uh, I th the kit never looks as exciting anymore. You know, I love all those buttons and the, and the little pedals and all yeah, that stuff. I yeah, love all that yeah. old, old kit. I wouldn't know what to do with it. Um, I have to say, fans all over the world have been sending in questions. Um, can yeah. I do yeah. the honours? Um, questions now, here. Uh, yeah, yes. questions now uh, from fans nice, watching nice all questions. over. La well, I'll edit as I go. <laughs> yes, hopefully. How do you still have the energy to do all these amazing things? Mm, I, I, I would say uh, to be creative is in itself a driver. Yeah. To, yeah. It, it pushes you. It gives you energy. And the other thing is, if you don't know how to do anything else but write music, that's what you want to do. Yes. Yeah. You know? exactly. So it's, uh, yeah. Well, it's your lifeblood, isn't it? You know, yeah. it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, what was your favorite song to perform back in 78? Uh, Does your mother know that you're out? <laughs> because he's singing it. <laughs> <laughs> Just wonderful. Yeah. Absolutely wonderful. I mean, when you, when you were doing the, you know, the, um, the, the, the motion there, the, the tech there, um, and you're, you know, were you performing some of the, the old songs again? Yeah. But that must is. have been so fun to, it, to do those again. It, did you it, remember it, all the words? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I've never remembered the words. <laughs> I, I used to have sheets of paper on the floor. In front of me, 
but uh, it was strange to kind of half make those movements that you did back then. Well, I have my piano, I can just be yeah. there. You, know? you could just yeah. Because I used to run around and jump from speakers and stuff, and I didn't do that. Yeah, brilliant. You could still, did you remember the, all the moves? Did they come back to you? <clears throat> Not, yeah, in a way, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they did actually. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no one's going to see that. No one's going to see that, sadly. Do you still, I think we know the answer to this, do you still love music as much as you did when you were starting out? Yes. 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 More. Brilliant. Never goes away. Yeah. It's, it's the most fun thing you can do, is to write songs. Yeah. That is, as you said, the lifeblood. Yeah. It's wonderful. I was just wondering, you were talking about in the studio when you have to say, right, that's it, that's the last take, that's, that's yeah. the finished yeah. single. Who, who's the last word on that? Who's the, that's um, it? We both decide. Both, but when he goes, uh, I'll decide. <laughs> Go in yeah. <laughs> yeah, we do. We've always worked like that, <clears throat> no matter who's been doing what, that we have, we have said that if we're not both happy, because we are the guys in the studio. Girls do their stuff, then they, they let the responsibility for mixing and all that. They leave that to us. Yeah. And we've said that we should both be happy. Every song should be finished and we should both be happy. So uh, we've kept that, even yeah. for this record. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, uh, that's amazing. What do you feel knowing how much ABBA means to people? You know, I think we've seen a glimpse of that tonight, the amount of people who've yeah. tuned in That's again tonight. the question about how you can yeah. emotionally understand that. And it's just, like Benny said, it makes you humble and, and grateful, but... The nice thing that has happened over the years is that uh, I have my office in a little island in Stockholm, and, and uh, people come there, fans, in groups, uh, in July, August, uh, and sometimes just a few, but they meet there and they make friends and they bond and they make sort of bigger yeah. groups and so th they make friends because of the fact that they like yeah. ABBA. I, I like that That's very much. That's a great feeling. Yeah. yeah. Spreading the love. It's, it's a beautiful thing. Music's always brought people together yeah. like yeah. that, you know, and you find yeah. like-minded folk as well. Uh, what is the best thing about being in ABBA? Good question. Never sent that one in. Uh, being in a group. I'd say uh, not having to worry about the money. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. Totally. Serious. Yeah. But because that makes, makes your life so much better, easier. You're free to do anything. Like just keep on writing music anyway. Yeah. Doesn't matter. But it's, it's, of course, it's been a, a good thing for all of us. That we're able to sort of be as relaxed as we are. But also to have, I hesitate to call it vehicle, but to have this thing, Abba, to uh, be able to, to send our feelings in the form of songs out in the world and doing it the way um, we sometimes do, then, then that's also a big blessing, I think. But also, I mean, I, I, I sit and write music every day. I go to my studio every day, try to write music for whatever it is. I've done a lot of stuff over the years, a couple of musicals or film music or my band with the fiddlers, folk music and so. And all of a sudden, there was no output. Yeah. If you, you need an mm -hmm. output for what you yeah. do. Yeah. If you don't know what it is, you just, you can write something, you put it in the can. But as, when this happened, I was said, Maybe we should do this all of a sudden, all engines on, because, all right, yeah. we may do a new ABBA album. And since then, it's been just full speed ahead and a very, very joyful experience. Yeah. Now that's, that's what I meant, the, the, the output, yeah. which is, you know, so good. Oh. Can you tell us something nobody knows about ABBA? Ah, oh, yes. Putting him on the spot, yes. But do we have to answer all these questions? I don't know. You can, <laughs> you can take the fifth. You can. <laughs> that nobody yeah. knows? Nobody knows. I don't know what they know about that. Uh, uh, anything, uh, anybody, yeah, anybody want to? Uh, we'll, we'll sit on that one. Yeah, we'll come yeah. back to it. Uh, best concert you ever played? 
And was it the same one? I, I remember the worst, had. but... Um... The world. Well, tell us about the worst. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Long story. Oh, yeah. That was in Stockholm. Half the band was in one place and the other half in another. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah, but it wasn't anybody's fault. There really. was a dance break. And half the band followed Benny, and half the band followed Agneta or Frida, I yeah, can't yeah. remember who, who started too early. Oh, Lord. That was a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't that bad. The rest went well. And all our <laughs> colleagues were sitting in the audience. <laughs> I, I must say, a concert that, that is still sits in, in my mind is when we had our first concert in Sydney, yeah. Australia. Yes. Because it was like 50,000 people there, and it was pouring down. And the whole, it was mud all over the place, and 50,000 umbrellas. So it was, it's a wonderful sight. You know, you see all these umbrellas, and you know you have to go out and perform. That's, that's, uh, that's stuck in my memory. Very memorable. Everybody we had a com in Sydney, completely Australia. white stage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. And after the rain came the bugs. Oh, nice, little, yes, the Little of bugs. black bugs raining over the stage, <laughs> attracted by the light and the white stage. Yeah. And the, the people were kind of... <laughs> oh, yeah. We had to stop for a while just to get rid of the bugs. It sounds quite biblical, amazing memory. Uh, which ABBA song <laughs> did you not expect to be a hit? Ah, that's a great question. Was there a song that you didn't think would, would be a huge hit? I don't know. It's, I think it's difficult to, to, to uh, pinpoint what a hit is. It doesn't have to be a number one single. No. I'd say a, a hit that I consider a hit is Thank You For The Music, mm -hmm. which has never been a single. It's just out there and everyone seems to know it, you know? So I don't know. But there, there are songs that should have been hits, like Under Attack. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, we the king has way down. Then, you see. That, uh, oh. yes. The king yes. has lost his crown. I yeah. think deserves a better um, destiny. But I can tell you, there are. I mean, we recorded maybe a hundred songs altogether over ten years. Wow. Not so many. Yeah. And uh, I'd say maybe we should have left out five or ten of them, just not recorded <laughs> you, them. You're not going to name it. And maybe, no, I don't want to do no. that. <laughs> but, but, uh, and, but then again, maybe ten of them came, became much, much better than we could have ever believed. Yes. Yeah, that's you know, true. that they sort of sh take shape in the studio and you feel, oh boy, now something is going on here. I said, Mamma Mia is one of those songs. Yes. Dancing Queen yeah. as well. Yeah. We thought they were good, but not, not as good as they became. And the rest of the chunk is sort of yeah, good enough. Good Mama, enough, amazing. Yeah. Mamma Mia, we thought, you know, we'd make the chorus really powerful. Mm -hmm. And then we did the opposite. To carpet away, and there was only... Uh, the nothing left, the voices and the piano, In the chorus, yeah. and that worked so well. Oh, so clever. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what, hearing the boys talking, it's, it's gold, uh, isn't it? Benny and Bjorn, amazing. Okay.